In this movie, I want to demystify linear versus exponential response for VCAs. You'll notice VCAs have them, and sometimes you'll find that envelope generators also have an exponential, actually a logarithmic attack, exponential decay, versus linear shape as well. I changed the patch considerably since the first movie. I've created a noisy percussion patch on the Mother 32, and I've carefully adjusted and actually boosted volume levels so that the audio is 8 volts peak to peak. Each one of those divisions on the data display is 2 volts. It's going the full four spaces up and down. And I've done the same with the envelope out from my IntelliJ L Quadra. So I want to make sure that it also was reaching that full 8 volt excursion. So we're going to look at the envelope's voltage, which is the blue line, and the resulting audio, which is the green line. My favorite default settings is a log attack, exponential decay on my envelope, and a linear response on my VCA. For me, that gives a natural sound, particularly for that decay, which falls nicely to silence. Get a little more decay time. You can see from the way the display is being drawn that the Roland 530 VCA does tail off to silence before the voltage coming out of the envelope has gone down to zero as well. What happens if we switch to a linear shape for our envelope? You'll notice that the envelope's line is straight, but one of the release time's a bit shorter, and that's the thing with the quadra. As we get a nice display here, you'll see that both the blue envelope line and the green audio have a pretty straight fall off, but the sound quality is rather different. I don't think that decay on the sound is quite as natural as I would hope. It seems to linger a bit longer, then dive off. That's because our ears work in an exponential manner. They expect that tail into silence, not a linear drop off. As a result, our ears misinterpret that middle part of the envelope as being too loud. Now, short envelopes cover a multitude of sins. hard to tell the difference between the two, but when you get into the longer shapes, as you can really tell the difference. Now not all envelopes have a log exponential shape. A lot of them have linear shapes, or unfortunately they have an exponential attack and decay, which is not my personal favorite choice, but quite often when your attack time is zero, the shape of that attack doesn't matter. But let's say you do have a linear only envelope and you want a more natural sound. Well, this is where you really hope that your VCA has a switch or a knob to change it to exponential mode so that it will create that curve our ears are more used to. A little longer decay there. Now the problem with exponential though is that it has a very funky response. Even though we're hitting eight volts on the envelope shape, you can hear the audio passing through the VCA is really quite soft. So I'm going to replace my envelope temporarily with just a DC voltage, and I'm going to change my scale here to 5 volts of division just to see how loud I need to go to get the audio to match the level of my envelope coming in. I'll increase my DC bias, that blue line, and you'll see as I do so, the green audio rushes up to meet me right around the 10 volt line. I really want to have a 10 volt envelope excursion into the Roland 530 to get that full exponential shape out of it. Let's go ahead and pull that out so I'm not listening to just the voltage. Plug my envelope shape back in. Now I can go ahead and plug the envelope in. I think I'll go ahead and do a little dialing in here to make sure that my envelope is doing a 10 volt excursion by putting on sustain mode right now. It's really quite loud right now. Let's pull it back a little bit. I need to change the scale. So well there, and now I've got dialed in a nice little 10 volt excursion. Great. Now let's do a percussive sound with a linear envelope and exponential release out of the Roland. It might even be a little bit too much of control voltage. I can tune it in here. Change the envelope shape so it's an instant decay and no sustain. Now I'm getting a much more natural sound. I 
take some very careful level manipulation with the Roland 530 to boost the control voltage up to where you're getting the full excursion out of the VCA in exponential mode. But it's how you get that exponential tail off even when you have a linear envelope. And that's why you want VCAs that do have linear or exponential settings. Now you're not always using envelopes with VCAs. Sometimes you're using LFOs or even just straight voltages from a fader to adjust volume. That's another reason you might want to change whether or not you're using exponential or linear control. So again, I'm going to take out my input here. And now this is just putting out a straight voltage going from zero to 10, as it becomes an essence of volume control for this VCA and the audio going through it. I'm going to turn down the audio a little bit because this can get quite loud when I crank it up. Now I have quite a bit of detail down the soft sounds. And quite a natural curve to this to adjust the volume. If I change this to a linear setting, you hear immediately how much louder it is. And it's loud for most of the rotation. I only have my silence down here at the very bottom of the excursion of my knob. So it's harder to do mixing with a linear VCA. If you're doing audio mixing, audio panning, etc., you'd really prefer to have an exponential setting. It'll give you a much more natural feel and control. So that's another reason why you like to have that switch. You're not always feeding envelopes through your amplifiers. So in short, I like linear VCAs for enveloping, exponential VCAs for volume controls, but it's good to have both available.